Welcome to Tool Screen Printing. What I'm going to show you guys today is how to print this um, the wax head design. I'm going to print it on a sweater, you know, so let's just do it. I'm going to take down these screens. Sure, I've probably done that before. Turn on the fucking camera. <laughs> but yeah, I already ended up getting the screens, so I don't have to go get them over there, you know. Um, you know, a lot of times you gotta just clean um, your boards and you know prepare, prepare um, your work. You see well, how much paint you need before you turn on your um, conveyor dryer or, or flash, so you don't waste any electricity. You know, um, and then uh, the more organized you are, the f um, better you're gonna be um, at getting it done faster. You know, so I'll just take all these down right here. Actually, I'll leave this one because I'm gonna use this. Um, the back logo so I'll just take these down sometimes you wish like you have like an assistant you know because they come, they come in handy. <laughs> you know, make sure to um, turn on your flash. So you could um, flash the colors in between. Okay, so I'm going to just start um, with, um, with these. I'm uh, uh, First, I'm going to start with the back logo. Just so... Um, I'll get out of the way. Okay, so I'm, on this one we are going to put a white logo on it. So th this this board right here, it's already aligned um it's right in the middle. You know, it's already been um used. We use it often, you know. So it, it's a it's a little bit sticky, so I don't need to put spray. Usually in the back, um, I get it. I give it a good, nice two fingers, depending on the size of the uh, the sweater. I give it two nice fingers. Um, need this watch. Well, at first, you know, like like always, you want to check um, where the design ends right here under the screen, and you drop it down, and then you see where it's gonna hit. So I know it's gonna hit around here. So I'll give it. A, I think it'd be fair right there, or since this one's not that big. Um, I could um, just drop it down. It'll give it like two nice fingers, maybe three. No more than four if you're printing on like five XLs or four XLs. So just do a little quick, little two swipes on there. And then that's that right there. But I'm actually gonna flash it and then I'm gonna hit it again so it could be nice and um, white, you know? Yeah, so I'm gonna flash it. Actually, this is like barely heating up, so it might take a while so so what i'm gonna do uh, since it, i'm waiting a while for it to uh, to heat up i'm gonna start aligning the other uh, screens you know because we don't have to do that anyways so while we wait for it to heat up we do this this is why i like showing you guys how i work so you get an idea that you could like instead of waiting for that or you know wasting time you could be doing something else so with this one the first color we start with is the white this is how it looks. All right, so so this one, uh, like how, like how we do it all the time, or how I uh, how I've been doing it lately. This is now how I started doing it. Um, I got I got better at my technique, and um, and I'm doing it quicker, you know. So I got, I got this um ruler, or yes, yeah, square ruler, and I have it like this, you know. So. I, this one's not shaky or anything, so you know it's um, it's pretty uh, it's pretty right, you know. So you get, uh, I I I I suggest you guys use uh, maybe a thicker tape, so I, um, like the other one I was using the other time, cause um, it's easier I think. But this one's um, it's, it's gotta be more precise. So I, I see where the design is gonna be around there. So I could align it on top or on the bottom. I'm gonna decide to do it up more on top. So make sure this is straight right here. And then I put tape right here. 
that's how I do it. There's different kinds of ways. There's probably even um, special um, square rulers that um, actually you could like, instead of using the tape, you could just drop it right on it, you know? So this is how I do it. See, you see how it's dropped? And by, by uh, surprise, it's already straight, you know? And then this looks pretty straight here. Um, and then I, I, what I do next, I count the sides. I usually go by fingers. So I, I check um, how many fingers is there here. It looks like uh, it's two. And then this side, it looks like it's two and a half. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just, um, I'm gonna throw it off a little bit to the left. Just a little tiny bit. There, that's it. And make sure that this is straight. So like lift it up in here and then bam. You can't go wrong. This, this right here is legit right here, you know? You can't, like, I could, I could do a straight to the sweater and, and not, not really be um scared, you know, that, oh, I'm gonna fuck it up. Yeah. All right, so we got that aligned right there. All right, we're good. Let's take this off. Um, so on, on this one, I, I am going to use um, a practice because it's still warming up and I want to start already, you know? So I'm going to get this old shirt that I used to wear um, that's really messed up, you know? Like, it's really old. Like, I've washed this, like, over 50 times. <laughs> or else I would, you know, give it to, like, somebody in, um, homeless if it's still, like, wearable, you know? But um, they come in handy, too. So I, li I like um, actually hooking up... Uh, the people in the streets with like shirts that are like not really perfectly printed but they're still brand new that i haven't really worn you know so th that, that's always cool you know you get to see them like you know rocking it and stuff you'd be surprised you'd be like in the street and then they're rocking it you know but um i don't know there's some clothing lines that uh, don't really do that um because um i guess it, it brings a bad name to their clothing because they're trying to be all bougie you know but nah, tool clothing is not bougie. <laughs> that's, that's for sure, as you can see, you know? Just trying to be real. <laughs> All right, so so we got the shirt on there. Um, I remember, I wasn't even talking. I, I did I put the spray, but yeah. It's just like a lot of things that you do, you just end up doing it in habit without even thinking about it, you know? Like, I, usually I have like music playing in the back. Because um, I just like do it and it's just like, I just go with it, you know? But um. This one already has ink. This is Plastisol right here. Plastisol white. Uh, I use um, white e uh, 40 FF. <laughs> That's this is the one I just stick to all the time because it just works for me, you know. You could try different um, inks, and um, they're gonna work differently for you guys. So just stick to what works for you guys. All right. As you can see right here. Um, I don't know why it's um, more to a level. Maybe this board is fucked up or something because it was supposed to be more um, centered. It's, it's like straight right here, but it's not. I don't know. Like, I don't really have that problem. I guess I, I messed up, but I'm going to just go ahead and do it like this. Um, yeah, I suggest you, you always like sh sh um, check your boards before you um, get them done. So th this one, uh, I'm going to just align it like this. Yeah, it's like I wasn't really expecting that. Shit is weird, you know. No, I thought I was doing it right. Oh yeah, so yeah, it's just weird. But um, yeah. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> um, just, I'm heating up the back right here of this one, the one I did earlier. As you can see, I, I touch it. I, I what I do is I, I touch it on my finger to see if it's um if it's dry, and you can see it's getting it's getting on my fingers. Um. So that doesn't work, you know. I have to redo it again. Just wait up a little more. And I don't know. I'm wearing a sweater. It's getting kind of like warm, you know. I might probably take it off and shit. But nah, I, I just I just rock this out real quick. Cause I have this thing. And I don't want to get all naked, you know. <laughs> all right. So there. There goes this. So now that I touch it, it doesn't leave anything like. And it's not really all that hot. Um, later on in the future, I'll show you guys more. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll mess up on, on purpose, so you could, you guys could learn like stuff that um, like mistakes that you you could do. But that's more in the future. Right now, I'm just I'm showing how to I do this, you know. Cause I don't want to mess this um, sweater up, you know. <laughs> There's like a order. There's um some somebody from Australia um bought that right there. And that's pretty cool, cause. 
I didn't know like they dabbed over there much, you know. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, be surprised. You know the the word gets around on the all the fucking shit we do around here, you know. <laughs> all right. So yeah, it's dry. Um, it's dry enough to where it's not gonna stain something else or it's not gonna rub off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just be real careful with it. And um, and I'll cure it um, after when it's like really heated up, you know. So all right. So now I'm gonna just cure the um, the other side. I wish I had a camera right here so you guys could see how this cures. But um, next time, you know, then you can see it with the on. Oh, you can't see it with this camera. Yeah, it's heating up though. I can see it though. It's like just a regular flash. I think I bring it closer over here. Also, like, uh, I suggest you don't really get, um, really too close to the flash because you get really hot. And, and during summer, if you're in a confined area, like, it could get really hot where you, like, um, you start hating it, you know, and you'd be like, damn, I hate working because I'm, like, cooking. And you start probably start drinking beer and you'd be like, oh, man, this is the only way I could cool off. Drink a whole gang of water. But, um, like, I'm, like, like I said, um, if you do this, like, you gotta have some kind of, reason why you'd want to do it um you, you know like it always goes back to like a uh, passion you know um and really like um, making a decision that you're gonna invest in time and uh, money and everything you got into doing screen printing because in reality i have sold a lot of um, screen print machines like for like one station four color um to different people um that i've gotten from other people that um that quit screen printing and then those people that, that buy off me, they, 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 they end up quitting too, you know? And somebody's knocking at the door, so I'll be back right now. But I'll do it right now, you'll charge it right now, for no trip. Yeah, that's a homie split right there, he came through, you know, smoke some shit, you know. Is it live? Chop it up. No, yeah, it's recording, I don't know if it's live. Like, people are people not uh, seeing this shit stream though, fool. Alright, so this shit's dry now. Yeah, I'm just, you know, sp speaking to them, I'm showing them how to, how, how, to, how, to, how to get down with this, you know. And I got, yeah, the, okay. I got the camera right here, and I got this one, you know. I'm, Edit it up real quick, uh, cause I only have like around 20 minutes to like um, chop up every video, cause it, mm. th those th those turn off, and then sometimes I don't know um, if they turn off by themselves. So yeah. I might be still working, and then it does not recording, and it fucks it up, you know. So I gotta do it quick. So now I have um, th this one aligned. So what I do now is um, I'm aligning the black. Alright. So here, this is how the black looks, and and again, um, these have a lot of half tones. So um, there's like little dots, you know, that make it a fade. So um, you gotta use high mesh, 200 and up. So it has like little tiny holes, so you get that detail. All right, so this is fairly um, easy to align because you can see the white in the back, and I'm gonna just drop it right in the middle where it's supposed to be, right there. Yep. Get that. All right, and then um, some of you might not have micro adjustments, so that's why you gotta make sure you um, get the screens burned perfectly, to where um, you don't have to like move them up and down much. Because if you don't have micro adjustments, you, you're gonna fucking have to remake the screen, and that's not fun, right there. You have to clean it, and and if you're paying somebody to do it, it's gonna be a fucking. Well, if you're paying somebody to do it, it's, they're gonna do it right. You, you know, if you go to a company that does it, or if I do it, you know, I'll do it right. Uh, nah. <laughs> nah, but I, I don't really do this for a lot of people. Um, I'm trying to just, like, d do what I do, you know? And I mean, for, for the longest, I was um, printing for a lot of people, and that's what I learned, you know? And I, I still print for people, but I don't want to print for a lot of people, you know? Because um, I'm more like a solo printer. You see how manual, how, how hard... Um, how hard it is so yeah these are um, micro adjustments um 
Th this right here is pulling it to, um, back because it was like, this was popped out too much. So now that um, it's aligned right here, there, it's, that, it's gonna fucking be able to clamp on better. So now that it's able to clamp on better, look at that. And then you lock it over here. So it doesn't, um, the micro adjustments don't move anymore. And then lock it here. And also, this also has um, one thing, because you see how, it, how it's really high? If you swipe it, it's gonna flood and it's gonna look real terrible. So this machine has a micro adjustment in the back right here. That's like real big, look at it, it just drops it down, look at that. And that's like perfect, you, you can't fuck up. I, I, that's why I love this machine, this like machine is the shit. You know, this is like, um, if you buy it brand new, I think it costs like five, six thousand. Uh, it's workhorse, I forgot the, um, the maker. I think it's workhorse something, but um, yeah, it's like this turquoise color or whatever, or teal or whatever. <laughs> nah, but that's just sick though. You should look up into it if you're looking at screen print. And also like, um, if you wear hoodies, make sure um, you always um, put these inside, because um, then you're gonna be like dipping them in paint and then they get all over your sweater. And also when you work, you want to wear like fucked up ass clothes like this, you know? That's all old, old pants and old shoes. <laughs> all right. We don't want to fuck up some new shit, you know? Cause that will happen, especially if you're a newbie. All right, so now I'm gonna get the black um, squeegee. This, this, this right here. Got this black squeegee. And we're gonna just swipe this right here. You just like flood it one time, or you could even flood it up like this. Make sure it's getting everywhere. Cause you don't wanna like oh, re-swipe it. And then now that it's flooded, we just do one good swipe. And um, you can see the, um, the black, but it could have been darker. I could drop it again, which I, uh, which I am. And I'm gonna just swipe it again. And when you redrop it and you swipe it again, that's why it's, it's good to have really, really good boards that are tight and the micro adjustments or the clamps that are real, um, they're well, you know? And you see how it, it came out. So now I'm gonna flash it and then we're gonna do the next colors. It's, just, it's pretty exciting, no? <laughs> I don't know, I, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy, you know, teaching this because it's like it's like little techniques that i've learned because i've actually been doing this for over eight years and it like fucking hands-on shit you know with like manuals you know maybe in the future i'll learn some automatics but i think ma uh, manual is real fun because it's like more it's, i think it's more difficult but i'm pretty sure automatics are difficult too but like with the alignment but once you get it going you know it goes but the, this this is a little tricky yeah, so now, now the, the black um, is flashed. So you just leave it there, like once it's heat up, like th it, this black or any color, it usually flashes um, within maybe like 10 seconds. You don't wanna um, overheat them because then the board gets hot. And, oh shit. Yeah, the board gets hot and and it might, um, um, what's it called? It might block your screen up. And I'll show you guys another video like when, when, when that happens, when you um, you always want to make sure it's not really hot. If it's really hot, especially with the 200 mesh, it's going to get clogged or blocked, you know, and it's going to give you a big headache. I used to get that a lot back when I was um, first barely started. And nowadays it hardly happens. It, it maybe it might happen if I'm just like too, um, I'm going, I'm trying to do it too quick and, and I'm like careless and shit, you know. But I'm still pretty quick now, which is like, I'm not, I'm not careless, but I'm just quick now. I could do it real quick. So this one, I'm gonna have to uh, fix the micro adjustments a little bit over this side, and then a little bit over here. See, th th this is what I'm talking about, like uh, micro adjustments and machines that have this. It makes it way easier if you're trying to align four colors or maybe even six colors, especially if you're, uh, if you're burning the screens yourself, you know. And you're not a professional and we'll, we'll talk about um screen burning on another episode um because you know I, I have a lot to say about that shit too but um yeah 
All right, so this, um, let's make sure it aligns well. You, you can see where the black is at. That's why I did the uh, black second, so I could um, align the other colors. I usually go white and then black, and then I, I drop the other colors, and then when I really print it, I, I do the white and then all the other colors, and then I do a black at the end, which we will see right now. So that's that right there. Now I'm gonna get the um, yellow squeegee. It's a gold, golden yellow squeegee, and then a darker, um, like more brownish golden color. Oh, so I'm gonna put this one here for now. And let me just swipe this. And this like still the sample one. Even if I, if I want, I don't even have to swipe this one. Cause um, I could probably still line it with the black, the other color. But just to make sure, I'm gonna just hit the yellow. And you see it's already coming out. Is that young fire right there? <laughs> That's the one you're doing. The turntable joint. Yeah. Yeah, but I think this camera light had turned off, so I'm gonna just um I'm gonna redo it. Oh I, I don't know if I can redo it, but now that <laughs> now that I swept it, you can see the yellow's there. Um but I'm not sure where it ended up, but you see how, how I aligned it? Um, I used the black to align the yellow. Yeah. And all the other colors, so that's, that's that right there. So now, the, the yellow, you see how quick it flashed? I put it there under five seconds. And that's because I'm using only this board and it's already warmed up. Like, so you don't want to, you don't want to leave the board like every color you flash. You don't want to leave it more than maybe like five, more than 10 seconds. Because then a bunch of smoke's going to come out it's going to get all glossed out and and you won't be too happy with that. Um. Is that like a old, old like practice trick? Right? Yeah, yeah, it's a practice trick. Yeah, yeah. Make sure to subscribe, you know, to our YouTube. If you have like any questions or you want to see more crazy shit like this, you, you know, you like our designs, you know, check out toolclothing.com. You know, let us know what's up. So now I'm um, uh, um make sure you got rapper homies who come through and smoke you out. <laughs> Alright, so we got this one. This is the um brownish um gold, you know. So now you gotta line this right here. So you could I can still see the black where it's at. This one's a little more trickier. Um there's sometimes I, um these I, I clean them, but now actually I, I can see pretty well. Sometimes um what I also do is I um Put the uh, I, I press it down because sometimes it's like a little bit elevated and I can really see where the black is at. This gets your fingers a little dirty though, so you're gonna have to you get a rag and just clean them. That's like a, a part of printing. You gotta always make sure you always check your fingers after you you're like touching a little bit of paint like this, you know, or stuff like that. So there. This one I didn't have to fix the micro adjustments. This one lands pretty well. This one I could have probably moved it a little to be like safe, but now that I'm closing it, it's not it's not um, shifting it to no other way. So it grabbed down real well. Again, you don't want to tie in too hard, um, cause cause um it, you could break these things right here, and then you won't be able to clamp them. All right, so there there's just that, and then just swipe this. Hit this. You just do one cool swipe like that, and you can already see it. You know, it was good. You need to actually put more um, ink on there. So that's that, and I flash it, and then we're we're good. We're gonna actually um, do it on the sweater now. Is it still recording? Yeah. Just making sure it starts recording. You know, cause. All right. So now this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna Spray the tack on it. You make sure it's right in the middle. You can see kind of a line right here. And then you just do it up. And then you just check the sides. Like this five fingers. And this five fingers. So that's good to go. And then you check um, the white one. Because that's the first color we're going to do, right? And then you put your finger right here, 
you drop it and you'll be like, oh, that's going to hit right there. And that's two fingers. Usually I use three fingers for this one. I'm going to use three fingers. So I'm going to just lift, lift it up a little bit. And there. Press it on into the adhesive. And it's ready to go. You got to make sure you have enough, um, enough ink on there. And then just do a good swipe. On this one, because I, um, I want it really white, I'm going to do two whites. Make sure you always lift it real slowly, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that fool of split family anyway, is a bad influence. He's always coming and smoke me out. Look. Hell yeah. Damn. Is that fire? Was that Sean? Damn, I tasted that. No wonder it tasted familiar. I was like, man, <laughs> just bomb. It tastes like full melt hash. I used to smoke that back in the days a lot back in like in for like two thousand nine and shit. Yeah, I still like it. <laughs> All right, so there, there, this one's dry. It, actually, it's a little warm, so I'm gonna just let it cool off. You know, this one's, uh, it looks cool, but once you put the black on top of it, it's gonna, it's gonna look more right. It's still warm, but this one's um, good to go, you know? You like use it, um, turn it around, and use the other side for, um, for another print, and then the other side, you know? Just use it as much as you can, and then use it as a rag, and then, then you could throw it away, or I don't know, probably recycle it. <laughs> I throw it away, I don't know if you could recycle it probably look into that all right so that's that right there and then I'm gonna swipe it again you see you see right here how I swiped it and it didn't have en enough ink right there that's bad so I'll do it like this just to get on there and then swipe it and then on the next one when, if I want to do another um, sweater I'm gonna put more um, paint on there flash it and about flashes too, um, there's different sizes, so like, you know, always try to get one that, um, especially if you're gonna do a lot of work, get one that's um, pretty nice size that's gonna cover the whole design. Just so you don't have to be moving it around because that gets like tiring, especially if you're close to the flash. You know, be burning up, moving it up, doing a hundred shirts, a thousand shirts, imagine? That's not fun. You wanna do it quicker and, um, you know, more efficient. All right, so that's that's dry. Just like wait, um, wait for it. To, um, I I recommend that it, um, if you're gonna do production, you gotta um, at least have one like this that's um, six um, stations. Cause you see how it's hot right here. If I was to drop the next color, it, it would get stuck with the mesh, and then I'll, when I lift this, it's gonna, it's gonna take the sweater, and it's, it, it, it'll, it it'll be waste of a sweater. You know, you can't save it. Nobody's gonna want to wear it. And that, that's that's bad. So uh, some of you are gonna have to learn that the hard way. That's for damn sure, cause cause I know like I still happens to me sometimes. So you don't want it to be like, oh, what's happening? And then, cause when I first started, I had that problem like back to back to back to back, and I was, I didn't know what was happening. And it was cause I was it was too hot. Cause I I was actually work, working at a one station. So you see um. With six, um, once you're like doing that one and that one and that one, by the time you get back to this one, this one's gonna, you don't even have to check it because you're gonna be like, bam, because you know it's, it's faster. All right, so, so with this one, I'm gonna drop the yellow. And right here I did one good swipe. And since it already has two whites on there, it, 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 already, um, it already is gonna grab it real good. Cause um, cause there's already paint on there. The white, that's what the white is good for. Yeah, so yeah, that's what the white is um, there for. So they could, um, you know, so it could grab on other, the other colors more brighter and better and it'll flash it faster too. That, that, that's what um, the FF stands for. It, it stands for fast flash. 
and that's what this white I fucking love it because um, it, it it doesn't get no pimples when you overcook it and um, the only thing about it is that it gets glossy but um but you know there's other ways to like um, get it a little less glossy and I'll show you guys another video so you uh, subscribe if you want to learn and and you're gonna learn some cool ass shit because I know like some techniques that doesn't save you a lot of money it's probably gonna get a lot of companies mad or something <laughs> that I'm teaching you guys this all right so that's a yellow and it's already you know I didn't flash it too much that's good to go so um, this doesn't really have a lot of um, paint so I'm gonna just like you know sque squeeze everything out of it get it up from up here usually you have to have a jar but I think I need to mix more of this so luckily we only have to do one because then I have to stop the video and um, you know so right here, what I did, I didn't swipe it. I just flooded it, and um, you see, it's right there. Um, I just flooded it, and I could just drop it and then swipe it. Um, there's like different techniques. Some people like flooding every time. Um, uh, me personally, I, I don't like uh, flooding a lot of the time. There's a little string right here to get it out. I don't like flooding a lot of the time because um, these uh, manuals sometimes they don't align too well, and you want to make sure when you drop it, it's dropping right um, where you want it. So the black, I'm not gonna flood it because I want to make sure if, if it moves a little, like it's real important because it could like give highlights to all kinds of stuff that I don't want to give highlights to, you know? Um, and a lot of that, a lot of that comes with um, um, design preparation. Maybe adding a little stroke or two to the design to make sure um, it, it covers and the black um, covers it all, you know? And I'll show you guys other other examples whenever I do get them to like uh, designing on um, Illustrator and all that, you know. So that that's that right there. I I, I, I think I flashed it a little bit too much, but you see how it's coming together already. Like it looks so sick. Just gotta um, wait for it to cool down. I'm like I'm moving this thing right here back and forth because um I don't want I don't want to burn this board as you know that's under there. I don't even know if this works much, but, <laughs> but it doesn't hurt. All right, so I'm gonna do the black now. And like I said, I'm not going to flood it. I'm gonna drop it and make sure it's landing exactly where it, I, I had it before with all the how the other colors look. And I believe it is, I can't really tell a lot, but I'm gonna just go with my faith and my gut and then I'm gonna just do it. And if even if you mess up, um, there's a other technique like if, if, I, if I was to swipe this and um, it, it, it didn't work it was off which um, it isn't if it was off um, I, I could hit the white again and then I could do the colors again and I'll try it again with the black a lot of times if you're not happy with the black it's probably because um you need to clean it and and I suggest um, I suggest you, you thin down your black so when you swipe it, um, it's thin down and it's not really too dark and it's gonna give real good um, depth um, to your design. And a lot of times um, you wanna clean, um, if you're not happy how it looks, um, mess with the, um, the, the, the consistency of the paint and, and, and just um, clean the back of your thing right here, your screen, and you're gonna be happy with it. Um, hold on, let me get some. All right, I have this it has mineral spirits and um some people spray uh, onto the screen but I, I don't really uh, suggest that because um it's gonna shoot out and then all this is gonna be like um, drippy and then when you swipe it on the on the on the shirt or the design it's gonna it's gonna show it's, it's, it looks it looks terrible it messes up designs so what I do I, I, I spray um, onto this rag. I mean, it's not even all that much, um, but because it doesn't really have a lot of ink through the back right here. Now what I do is just um, get it all right here. Look at that, and then you flip the rag over where it's like doesn't have no ink, and get it right there. Make sure it's dry. And then that's that's ready. That's it. 
you throw it through a conveyor dryer and we got a wax head t-shirt or you know sweater <laughs> all right yeah all right I'll see you guys later <laughs> all right I have a question um, do you guys dab it who dabs it here um, put it on the um, comments below and and there'll be a winner somebody will win um, one of these Alright, peace. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't even know what the fuck to say, dog. <laughs>